Joining us now from House Ways and Means, Congressman Greg Stubbe. Congressman, isn't this a real threat to democracy? I mean, this person was arrested the day before the Butler, Pennsylvania shooting happened. They're not connected, but this seems like the real threat to democracy, no? Yeah, you're absolutely right. And is this surprising to anyone? We've let in 12 million illegals into our country because of Biden Harris's open border policies. Uh, over 384 known terrorists have come into our country, criminals, rapists from all over the world, uh, over 50,000 Chinese Communist Party's individuals. So uh, even Director Ray of the FBI said in a hearing that the threat level is high and that because of the open border and our southern border that we're going to see things like this. I'm personally surprised we haven't seen uh, a terrorist attack in our country because of the level of threats that we have coming in through our southern border. You know, Congressman, when you watched the debate last night, it really were some issues around foreign policy and geopolitics. Let's listen to Vice President Harris forget that 9-11, 9-11 was the worst attack on democracy since the Civil War. You're going to hear former President Trump get interrupted by David Muir when he was talking about the botched exit out of Afghanistan. And we got more on what the moderators did not follow up on with Kamala Harris. Watch this. Donald Trump left us the worst attack on our democracy since the Civil War. For 18 months, we had nobody killed. We wouldn't have lost the soldiers. We wouldn't have left many Americans behind. And we wouldn't have left, we wouldn't have left $85 billion worth of brand new, beautiful military equipment behind. I want to move and on. There is not one member of the United States military who is in active duty in a combat zone in any war zone around the world. I'm sorry, what is she talking about? There are troops in Syria and Iraq. They're in combat zones. They've been routinely attacked by Iran-backed militia. Three soldiers were killed in Jordan earlier this year. And, you know, ABC moderators said nothing about suspected terrorists caught inside the U.S. Eight in L.A., New York, and Philly just recently in June. Nearly 1,700 illegal aliens caught crossing with ties to terrorism. Why, was the, why were the ABC moderators so out to lunch on the facts? Well, and they were out to help Kamala Harris and go after Donald Trump. Uh, they, they, it was clear. Uh, the American people saw that for what it was. That, that debate was three versus one last night, and I thought Donald Trump did a really great job. She was lying to the American people, and Donald Trump will do what's best for our country. Congressman Stubbe, good to see you again. Thanks for joining you us. You too. Okay.